Welcome back. In this demonstration, we are going to move away from the theoretical concept of uh, perspective and we're going to move into a more uh, realistic version of what perspective might look like. So in the last assignments, just to get started, we made rectangular prisms below the horizon line, above the horizon line, and on the horizon line. We talked about where the horizon line should be at eye level and that the vanishing point is where all the orthogonals would converge in the back. We said the vanishing point should be on the horizon line, okay? Then we moved into a different picture with that looked a little more complicated, a little bit more real world. Um, and we said, you know, maybe put a building in, have some clouds that are vanishing towards the vanishing point, some uh, telephone poles or something else that gets smaller as it gets towards the vanishing point, and maybe finding the insides of rectangles, maybe making a road, and I just wanted to kind of put some things out there to bring you to the next step of working outside of theory and looking at the real world. So today I'm going to ask you to do the next part of the assignment and to go out into the hallway and actually draw. Now you have to move away from theory a little bit in order to start understanding reality. All right. So here is our hallway. Now, if you're at another school or anywhere else in the world, you find a nice long straight hallway and it's going to be a great example of one point perspective. Now the trick here is if we start and we put our vanishing point right in the middle and we start doing all the lines just like we said in theory, it won't look right because um, our vanishing point here is not exactly in the center. Also, it's, we don't really see the sky, we don't really see the ground and where they exactly meet. So it's a little tricky figuring out you know, where those things are. So here's what you're going to do. When you're in the hall, I like to use my pencil and line it up with the ceiling tiles. And you'll notice that that edge of where the ceiling meets this side wall, that's one of our main orthogonals. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of like hold up your ruler or your pencil and say, well, if that's my main orthogonal, I'm going to line it right up on there and trace that back on my paper. So to get started, I'm just going to trace this orthogonal back. Okay, there's my first orthogonal right along the ceiling of the hallway. Okay, now I'm going to trace the other side of the ceiling of the hallway. And where those two orthogonals meet is my vanishing point. Okay, so there's my two ceiling orthogonals in red. And they meet right here. All right, so that is where my vanishing point is and it's where my horizon line is. So the horizon line in this picture is approximately right here. Okay, now, how is that different from what we said in theory? In theory, when we talked about it, we said usually all the heads are on the vanishing point, or sorry, on the horizon line. Well, the trick of this is you're going to be sitting down in the hallway with your drawing board, and so your vision is lower, therefore the vanishing point is in a different place, and the uh, horizon line is in a different place. Okay, so that's your first trick, moving away from theory and moving into reality. All right, if we take the remaining orthogonals of this hallway, I want to point out a few interesting problems that crop up while drawing in a hallway. Okay, here's my orthogonal for the end of the right hand wall, and here's my orthogonal for the bottom of the left hand wall. Now, if we bring some math into it, let's look at these angles. The angle from my vanishing point in here is an acute angle. No, it isn't. It's an obtuse angle right here. And this one over here is an acute angle. So this angle, I don't know what that is. I'm just guessing maybe like 35, 30 to 35 degrees here. And this angle here looks maybe like it's 110 degrees maybe. So these two angles are looking different. Why are they looking different and why? is my vanishing point not in the middle because I'm sitting on the floor on this side of the hallway. If I were sitting in the middle of the hallway, my vanishing point would move over and these angles would move uh, to be more equal. If I'm sitting way on the other side of the hall out here, 
you know, if, if I'm sitting on the other edge of the wall that's over here, looking that way, then my vanishing point's gonna be on this side of the wall and the angles are gonna be reversed. So depending on where you're sitting, how tall you are, you know, how much you're crouching over or leaning over, those things are all going to change and you're gonna have to keep that uh, in mind. Now, moving on from there, you'll notice, and this is kind of hard to see here, um, and I'll show you it in class, but there's this wall right here. And I'm gonna outline it in this blue ink. Okay, this wall right here. And it really has been tripping kids up while they're drawing because the vanishing point is inside the wall, you'll notice. It's like right on that wall. And this corner of the wall where the hall ends and it meets that wall, that dot right there is on the orthogonal but the inside of this door is not on an orthogonal okay it's like on the other side of the the vanishing point likewise this corner here that meets the wall it is on the orthogonal whereas this corner of the doorway is inside of the orthogonal so they're they're separate they have different they're following different rules because they're not on that orthogonal it's part of the inside of our box like if we were to draw this box here in our orthogonal, that's like a box there that the, all the corners meet up with that orthogonal, okay? So um, that being said, that's one trick. Uh, the next trick is getting the ceiling tiles correct, okay? And having these ceiling tiles that look like this, having this orthogonal go all the way back to the vanishing point and getting the ceiling tiles to get smaller and smaller each time. Okay, so that's just a basic rundown on what challenges you might find in the hallway. The last challenge here is this hallway that goes to the left. You'll notice that the corner of this wall falls right on the orthogonal and the horizontal line here is the top of the wall and then you've got the other end of this wall that's basically just a big trapezoid coming out this way. The other thing that kids are uh, having problems with are the lockers. You'll notice that these lockers, if I pen this one in, is this group of lockers here is a trapezoid, just like the, the sideways face of a box. You know, so if we've got this one here, here's the sideways face of this box. This is the part of the lockers. It's exactly how the lockers are functioning as a unit. Now, those groups of lockers that are trapezoids, they are going to get smaller as they get closer to the vanishing point. So this group of like whatever it is, 15 lockers or something, uh, is, is this big here because we're pretty close to it. All right, so here's this trapezoid of lockers and I'm just gonna shade it in here so you can see it better this little trapezoid of lockers. There's about 15 lockers here. This other trapezoid down here, that's only like, you know, literally less than an eighth of an inch wide, that also has 15 lockers in it, but we can barely see it because it's farther away and the wall is tilted such. Okay, so it's gonna be careful to make sure that you don't draw these lockers all the way up touching the ceiling. A couple kids have done that. So you don't want to have those lockers touching the ceiling, nor do you want to have them touching the floor because those lockers would bump into your toes every time you opened your locker. Okay, so make sure that as you're drawing those lockers, they're inset to the wall. Okay, so uh, we'll come back in a second video and I'm going to demonstrate how to get the orthogonals correct for the ceiling. Um, theoretically and in reality, but that's just like the problem solving for drawing one point perspective in the reality of the hallway.